Kirava Bersi Helga. Kirava Bersi Helga. It's a good thing I'm good at intimidating people. Might not even come to blows if I'm lucky. And then... Hopefully... I'll have done enough of a favour for Brynjolf to uh, make up for botching the brand shady job earlier. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, Jackman. Maybe I'll be able to ask around, see if anyone's willing to donate to the Lost Port Kevin uh, cause. Not claws. Just cause. Oh. B crew. Seems like the place could be doing better. Flagging isn't exactly bustling now, is it? Hmm. What if those two travellers are still clunking around somewhere? Probably best if they aren't, actually. Wait. I know you. You don't know me. I've just barely got here. Right. It occurs to me I don't actually know where anybody is. Crap. Kiravas uh, in there. I'm not gonna ask. I don't think. Need a drink? You go to the B and Bob. Stay out of the ragged flagon. Stay out of the rat way. Right. And then what is this place? Helga's bunkhouse. So that's where Helga is. And this is the. Ooh, the Black Briar Meadery. In case I need a drink. I went it out. Just start knocking on doors and see who's home, mate. Hello. My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. Oh, he spends too much time worrying about Rifton and not enough about himself. Be careful out there. Rifton can be dangerous. Oh, I know. So, uh, you must be Bercy then, huh? So, can I interest you in anything today? Oh, sure. Uh, you can interest me in paying Brynjolf back. Uh, what? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Exactly what I said it was. You don't pay, bad things happen. <laughs> On bad things, if you ever noticed. Petty threats and fist waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk, and everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection, and you can't even protect yourselves. Now, nah, look, I'll just go up here, and I don't want to make assumptions, but considering that I just go up here, I can say for certain that I at least can protect myself. Trust me. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Really? Well, well, I can't speak for anybody else. Just myself. But, you, uh, you want to try me then? Is that what I'm hearing? I'm going to make you sorry for this. Sure Come you on. are. By Easter, you get won't her. leave here alive. You might want to get out of the way, miss. Oh, come on, that was hardly a swing. Don't let her get away with this. Really? Pretty tough. Come on, she's not so tough. Are you kidding me? He... <laughs> Please, Come on, no more. she's not so I'll pay. tough. I'll pay. Uh, here. So it then. I hope you're here for friendlier reasons now. After all, I'm all paid up. 
Ah, yep, just making sure that's all that's all that there was. Good doing business with you, Bercy. I hope Brynjolf chokes on his gold. <laughs> Right, so there's Bursi down. Helga is going to be at the what the crap is that? Bunk house. Oh I see. And with the thieves killed indeed. I heard someone up there just now. You lost? Am I lost? That's a good question. Depends. You, Helga? If you're looking for a room, try the B and Barb. This place is for the working man. Well, and I don't look like a working... Well, lady. <laughs> I, I don't exactly look like a working man, do I? I'm a little obvious for that. Anyway. Got a message from Brynjolf. What does he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Uh, you don't look like a stone to me. It's not really about the money anymore, as far as I know. Look, I can't make the coin appear out of thin air. Please, be reasonable. I'll... I'll pay next month. I'm sure you will. But you gotta understand, I'm just the messenger here. So, uh... You know, Breen's run out of patience. And I'm here instead. And so have I. What's the point of paying anyway? Your outfit can't even fend for itself. I could do better tossing the gold into the sewer. You can't scare me with your tough talk. I'm not paying you people a single coin. Oh, I haven't even started the tough talk yet. But, yeah, I really don't want to fight you. Let's see. Suppose I could do... Uh... Oh, hello. Suppose I could get the coin some other way, eh? Like selling off this beauty right here. What do you say? How much do you think? Uh... Please don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. Right. How much do you think it's worth? You think it'll pay off your loan, or should I just toss it down a well somewhere? Not Lady Debella. No, please. I can't lose her. I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. You people are choking on gold. Anyway. Pleasure doing business with you. Hope things are more peaceful for you in the future. Alright. Oh, last but not least, we've got her. The lizard leggy. Whatever her name was. Kibraba, right? I think that was a name. I don't really remember. No priests this time. <laughs> oh, okay. What are you looking so sour about? Yeah. What's your problem? I was just going to ask you the same thing, but uh, I'll back off. Mm-hmm. Don't ask a lady her business. Need something? Uh, well, yeah, <clears throat> but not from you. Oh, I need something from you. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. Uh, actually, I've got to turn that question back on you, because you owe someone some coin, don't you? Look, everything was all just a misunderstanding. I, I didn't mean to tell Brynjolf to go jump off the pier. You'll tell him I'm sorry, yes? Take this. Every single coin I owe is there. I swear it. Very nice. I like you. Good on you. Good on you. Anyway, have a good evening. Hopefully we don't... Yeah, what do you want? If this is about the meadery, we can talk later. Uh, uh. What are you looking at? It's not my business. 
Uh, right, I think that's everything. How to get out of this rain. Not that I mind much. Sort of get used to being a bit soaked when you're on deck all the time and there's spray of whatnot. Jeez, spray of whatnot. Get flung up in your face. Anyway. What am I doing? Right down it in the flagging. Not like anyone's much paying attention to me. It's a smuggler's haven down here. It really is. So that went well. Somebody came and cleared out. Oh. Yes, no. Should probably tell someone to come in and clean up the bodies. Still a skiver down here somewhere. What? Come here, you. How did I miss? There. One dead skeever. You're welcome, bring you off. I've done your job. Add some pest control. Goods, it's nice down here. I could get used to this place. Yes, I could. Right, where is Brigno? Is that him? I suppose. Awkward. You need advice? Talk to Brynjolf. I got better things to do. I like you. Eh. Uh, what are you doing, cooking skooma? So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Aye. Uh, and I'm not really in the business of killing people, so... Anyway, here's what they owed you. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Not bad. Not bad at all. So what's next then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, I mean... I've got a project I need to fund, so uh, if you don't mind me uh, spending a little on the side, I uh, I think it could be beneficial for all of us, actually. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Not so much thief as pirate, but uh, anyway, before we go... I've got to ask. What's on your mind? Supposedly you aren't doing so well either, is that true? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Fair enough. Now if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Goats, dude. You, uh, did you just jump the bar there? Sorry, I was in your way. Some agility on it, man. I think you better listen to Mercer and Brynjol first. We could talk later. Mercer? That's a new name. Oh, shit. Let me show you the operation. Then you can ask your questions. Yep. Lead on. I just sort of lost you there for a second. Got distracted by whoever that was. The bowl, you know. The guy who sounds like me. Bit of a lock on the L. Guess the door was locked. No, oh. oh. low hanging lantern. Gotta watch out for that. All right, lead on. Ooh. 
Uh, what is this place? It's quite a nice look at it. Wow. Got a whole uh, escape hatch and everything. Nice. All right. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. We do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Uh... I was going to say you might have to speak up because of the war, but yeah, you made yourself pretty clear. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. I'm not terribly worried about disappointing you. More worried about... Uh... Anyway. So how do I get my cut of the spoils exactly? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Vex. They know their way around this place. And they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. All right. Is Vex the one with the uh, the white hair? And Delvin must be. Well, I'll find him. Anyway, so Golden Glow Estate, eh? Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. All right. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Hey. Hmm, makes sense. Hi. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. Okay, and what about Erringolf? I know that Killian isn't really in our style, but uh, if he gets in my way, I do have rather a big hammer. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. Aye. We uh, wouldn't want to cross uh, that important client, would we? The uh, Miss Blackbriar. So, how am I supposed to right burn them down? I can't just crush them with the hammer, or they're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Riften we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. You know. I like that. Uh, why not just... This is gonna sound like a stupid question. I realize because we want the estate intact, I assume, for money reasons, but why not just level the whole thing and rebuild it? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar meadery, which would cut into her profits. Gotcha. So, uh... I'm not sure if you meant to spill that, but uh, maybe Blackbriar's the influential uh, client. I did speak with Mole when I walked in, and he was not exactly uh, tight-lipped about the whole thing. We had an arrangement with Maven. 
We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge payout. Ooh. So, how dangerous is it to cross her exactly? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the Fourth Era in prison. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright. So, if I need more details about the uh, bee farm, do I ask you? Or, like, Vex? Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. Then out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Ah, well, first of all, that sort of explains the stick up uh, Mercer's butt. Ah, uh, mercenaries. No rifting guards. That's important. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. Thanks for the tip, Brynjolf. I will. Always good to scout the place out before you go in, eh? Case the joint and whatnot. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. No, ah, neither do I. Don't go a bit enough brief for that. Look at this place. Oh, this is how it be. I like this. It's like being in the upper decks of a ship a little bit. What is this? Cool. Ah. So there's a way up up there. Nice. We've got a snazzy little place here. Come here a second. Yeah. What? You know anything about Golden Glow Estate? Is that what you're talking about here? The honey they collect on that hunk of rock goes into making Blackbriar mead. Just about the best tasting mead in all of Skyrim. Well, alright, uh... Thanks, friend. I'll be around. If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab me. Ah, not really a bow type, but thanks. He's an interesting looking piece of work. Oh, shit. How do I get out of here? I'm gonna assume this is the entrance. It seems entrance like. Oh, yes, because there's the lantern that I almost have to duck under. <laughs> and in spite of my best efforts, I think I whacked it anyway. Let me just, uh... How the... That man's a master thief. There's just no other way to explain how he just sneaks around like that. You're very good at your job, you know that? Anyway, are you Delvin? Breed your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street. ...and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Well... Eh... I sort of know which way is up, but on the other hand... I'm more comfortable on a ship, so any advice could be useful. See? That kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich... ...and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve... I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet, you say? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, 
You'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. <laughs> I actually sort of did trip over a skeever on my way in. Although if this is what you call falling apart, then I'd love to see it in its full glory. Uh, so, uh, what happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. Oh, great. I don't play with curses. So, is there anything we can do about it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. It works for me. Before I ask about your jobs, do you know anything about Golden Glow Estate? Watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goth Hire to train killers. Just ask our poor little Vex. Right, I intend to. I assume that must be Vex. So, uh, what kind of extra work are you talking about here? I handle the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If break-ins are more your thing, go talk to Vex. Uh, something tells me you don't mean fishing fishing. There are all sorts of people wandering around carrying their valuables on their person, just waiting for someone like you to pick their pocket. So, you in for a little fishing? Eh, uh, considering how well my last, uh, pocket picking job went, I think, uh, might be best if I do something else. When you find your nerves, they will talk. Hey, that doesn't mean I don't want work, it just means Need I want to... I may have some work for you. Ah, I was going to ask about something else. Bloody good timing. Just got some more clients. Right. What exactly are numbers jobs? Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Your job will be to change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing? Sure. That sounds like something I could do. Nice. Yeah, this is what you'll need to know. Thank you very much. And who are you exactly? So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Don't look like much to me. Ah, well... Duh. Guess I'm not really much around here yet. Anything, eh? Uh... I'll, uh, I'll get out of your way, you look like a busy man. Mm-hmm. Right. Are you Vex? Oh, you really are, little. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Uh. Yep. Nope, you've got no argument from me. Uh, I know the drill. Not here to take your job. Nope, just gonna stay out of your way, do what I'm told. We'd like a lady who knows what she wants. Just take it easy. Easy, huh? So, should I just hand you purses of coin, or are you gonna work to earn your key? Let me give you a small bit of advice. Nothing in this line of work is easy. If it was, every dragon the rat way would be robbing Rift and Blind. If something's being handed to you on a silver platter, then there's a catch. Steal the platter instead. You get it? Ah, oh, mate. I like the advice. Not what I meant, but thanks. I will keep that in mind. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. Alright. What sort of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. Well... It could be a bit of both. Maybe it's a curse... that brings bad luck? I don't know. Anyway, what can we do? 
You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Not a bad deal at all. So before I talk work, I heard you ran into trouble with Golden Glow? <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Right. Any tips? That sounds like a little guard. Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Should. <laughs> I've gotten into a lot of trouble in my life with should, but thanks for the tip. Any extra work? I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Well, I do like breaking and entering. How about burglary? That sounds simple and uh, classic. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? I'm always ready for some good old-fashioned burglary. That's how you get stuff off of ships. That made sense. Anyway, I'm in. Fine. Here's everything you need to know. Thank you very much. Oh. Still in a ship model. You know me too well already. Eh. Uh, right. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege, eh? Excuse me? You don't look like much to me. Anyway. Oh, I get it. So you're, uh... You're a bit of a sword swallower then. Anyway, Tenille, yeah? Are you Tenille, yeah? So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. I'm alright with that. I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't <laughs> Excuse exactly me? own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Uh... Thanks. Is there anything you don't charge for? Like... Getting the uh, sweeper out my face? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Oh. Thanks. Excuse me. All right, then. Gilds. So, you wanted to prove me wrong about my assumptions, I see. And what are you doing? Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Ah, uh, you must be Maul's brother. Oh, dirt, right? Maul? Yeah. That jerk works for Maven Blackbriar now. Left me down here watching this garbage heap. I guess he's better at all that talking stuff anyway. I just mess everything up. Why did they call you Dirge exactly? They call me Dirge because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Why? You think it's funny or something? Uh... Nah, nah, that name would scare anyone. Oh yeah? I think so too. You're pretty smart. Hey, here. Have one on the house. Oh, thanks. <laughs> eh, right, anyway, be on your way, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Right. I should go find somewhere to bunk down for the night. Maybe go scope out the situation. Oh, and who are you? Huh. I suppose I can work with your face. 
After all, the sculptor cannot always choose the finest clay. What are you talking about? I assumed you were here to see me about your face. To have it sculpted into something more artful than nature has bestowed upon you. So, are you here as a client? Shall I remake your face? Are you calling me ugly? <laughs> I mean, for an orcman maybe, but uh, I think I'm quite pretty for an orc. You sure you know what you're doing? I have not always been a ragged beggar. I learned my art from the masters of the art of flesh sculpture. I studied with the faculty of chirurgeons and cloud rest. I walked with the hollow-faced men of Notohogra for three years. I count the nobility of both the Empire and the Dominion among my clients. And yet, I have fallen so low that I must justify myself to a wanderer in the sewers of this backwater of the world. Uh, congratulations, a lot of that went over my head. So, uh, good to know you're down here. Good luck. Mm-hmm. Not sure whether to say poor girl or... What exactly? What time is it? Actually, it's... Probably morning, considering the light coming in there. Which means it's probably uh, scat the perimeter time. Aye. Right, and then I've got to do a job in Windhelm? No. Whiterun and Markarth. And I don't really know anything about either of those. Wait a minute. I have a book for that. Holds of Skyrim. How am I supposed to know which one is which? Right, it's it's got them marked. I'm just an idiot. Uh, the reach is made up of almost entirely steep craggy mountains. Alright. Uh, a night impregnable stone fortress. Good. Home to the Forsworn, the rebellious natives of the Reach. Cool. So we've got... Angry hill people. Whiterun. Is high on a rocky promontory? Scrubland, wealthiest cities in Skyrim. White Run has usually proven friendly to the Empire's soldiers. Good to know. So, I'll probably be welcome there. Well, assuming I don't make an absolute fool of myself attempting to steal something and getting caught. Again. Right. So Skyrim in uh, well, right, I've just pulled an all nighter. To be fair, that's not exactly surprising. So Skyrim in the summer is just a rainy place all around. I see. Where am I going? All right. So, the biggest way out is this way, I take it. Probably. You, uh, gonna stop me and ask for a toll? Wait, I know you. No, you don't. Alright then. Oh, shit. It's like... More town. Cool. Right, I'm gonna see if oh, there's a trader out here too. That's useful. Hmm. 
Right, and that must be Golden Glow out there. Where did you say the the sewer thing was? Although I suppose Depending on how well guarded it is, I might just be able to walk in, hammer blazing, so to speak. Like I can really see much from over here. How is this one supposed to navigate out here? Doha. It's looking comfy. Fishery. Always good to get some fish in life. <laughs> anyway. Wait, I know you. Yeah, I'm sort of a recognizable face, aren't I? Yeah. I can't see anyone from over here. Yes, sir. It's not my name. You, oh, jeez. You must take the lexicon. Free me of my burden. Uh, sorry, miss. I'm a little busy at the moment. Please don't leave. You must help me. I'll come back. Probably. I don't feel like dealing with crazy lizards and lexicons today. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, that's nice. Still can't see shit. Oh, main fishing. Oh, look at this. We've got a trader. We've got Stables, all sorts of stuff, and a nice fire pit. Drifting is a nice place. Aside from all the thieves, which is hilarious coming from me, I realise. Hello, Foxy. It's a little swampy in the foot, isn't it? And I still can't see nothing. Yes, I can. There's a guard there. And that's just a gatehouse, so... I know thieves are supposed to be stealthy and all that. But I'm tempted to just... Walk in. Right, although I'm supposed to not cross the uh, Maven. So maybe it would be better if I took a stealthy approach and came in at night. There's a beehive thingy, I think. Don't see anyone. Yes, I do. There's someone at the gatehouse. Oh. Maybe I need some sleep. I'm not sure if my brain's getting foggy or if that's just Rifton being foggy. Pretty sure it's just Rifton being foggy, actually. Alright, there's another one. It looks like I can handle it. 
I'm an ogre. The roll, I've got a trick up my sleeve. Yeah? Alright. Are you gonna be like that? I'm just gonna whack you over the head. Right. It's early and foggy enough. Don't think anyone's gonna see me coming in, and I do want to prove to uh, Miss Vex that I'm not here to replace her. So. I'm just gonna watch for a bit, I think. See if I can see their movements. And when I get a good handle, I'll go all in. <laughs> 